It is a worrisome sight. Acres of defoliated trees in Metro Vancouver's Capilano watershed. The culprits are larval worms feeding in preparation to transform into western hemlock looper moths, or phantom looper moth. So it's kind of a double whammy this year with both species attacking the same tree species. We're beginning to see quite severe defoliation in some impacted areas and in other areas trees turning red or defoliation on the understory vegetation. When the moth is in the larva stage in the spring and summer, it eats the leaves and needles of trees. Hemlock trees are particularly sensitive to this type of defoliation. When they reach epidemic proportions or outbreak proportions that they're in right now, they'll feed on almost anything. They'll feed on the understory and they'll feed it on uh, even deciduous species like big leaf maple, vine maple, and alder that we also have in the drinking water watersheds. In late summer, the larvae transform into huge numbers of moths. About 300 hectares of the Capilano watershed have been severely affected by the moths. But this process is natural and can benefit the forest. Before we suppressed fire, fire would have been that disturbance agent in this area of the province. And now it's things like pests, abiotic things like wind throw or drought also serve that purpose. But in some ways, these disturbance agents like Western Hemlock Looper are a positive thing because they allow the forest to regenerate itself naturally with outbreak events like this. The moths from 2020 will die off in the first frost. In the spring of 2021, new larvae will emerge again. There have been 135 years of outbreaks noted in the watersheds already by researchers. It's nothing to worry about from an ecosystem perspective or a water quality perspective. We are just monitoring for now and we're kind of going to let nature take its course. And if we anticipate any uh, impacts to water quality, we will act then.